This is my new sewing pattern, the Mila Jumper. It's available to download on my website. It runs in sizes 6 to 32 and has a relaxed and comfy fit. You'll need to make sure you use knit fabric for this jumper. I'm using this gorgeous brown textured one. Make sure that the fabric that you use has a bit of stretch to it. I found that if you use a fabric that has a really nice drape as well, it creates such a lovely fluid look. So all my pattern pieces are cut out. You'll notice that a lot of them are cut on the fold, which means when you open them out, they'll be double the size. You'll want to mark the center points of the pattern, but let's get on with the bodice. The first thing to do is place the front bodice in front of us with the right side facing up and then place the back bodice on top of this, making sure that both right sides are together. Pin along the seams. Using an overlocker or a zigzag stitch, sew along the shoulder seam using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. This is what it looks like now that we've sewn the shoulder seams. We're going to want to open out the top. This is the armhole where this long seam is and we're going to align the sleeve here. So this is what the sleeve looks like. You should have marked a notch where the center of the sleeve is. We're going to align this at the armhole with right sides together. We're going to sew along this entire seam using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and stopping at the armholes. So now you'll have something that looks like this where the sleeves are attached to the bodice. This is the front and this is the back. Now making sure that right sides are facing, we're going to fold the back over like this. As you can see, this is the sleeve of the bodice and the underarm seam now that it's folded. We're going to pin along this entire seam. Sew this seam using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and repeat for the other sleeve. The jumper should be taking shape now as we've sewn the side seams on both sides. It's now time to focus on the neckband. I just wanted to point out if your seams are wavy, you can press them now or at the end of the project. This is definitely a thicker fabric, which is why I found this is a bit more wavy, but this will depend on the stretch and the weight of your fabric. So I have the neckband piece and you would have cut this on the fold so it will be double the length. We're going to fold it right sides together and align the short edge. Sew the edge using a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. This is what it looks like now that we've sewn it together and it looks like a circular band. We're going to place it down and make sure the seam is on one side and on the opposite side we're going to mark a notch to determine the halfway points. Now with the wrong sides together we're going to fold the neckband down in half all the way round. I would usually press this at the ironing board to flatten it out but this fabric looks too thick so I'll just be using clips instead. You will now have a nice circular band with the folded edge at the top and the raw edges at the bottom. Now it's time to attach the neckband to the neckline. Now with the back neckline facing you, make sure you've marked the center point at the back and the front neckline. Starting with the center seam of the neckband, we're going to align this to the right side of the center back. I've also pinned it at the front also. Now we're going to pin around the rest of the neck. I 
I've pinned the entire neckband to the neckline at the front and the back. We're going to sew using a one centimeter or three eighths of an inch seam allowance. As you can see the neckband is sewn and it's nice and neat, I'm going to make sure I press this flat for a clean look. This also is perfect if you have any waviness in the seam. So this is what the neckband looks like now that I've pressed it and I'm really happy with it. You definitely can top stitch this as well but that is an optional step. It's time to move on to hemming the bottom jumper and the bottom of the sleeves. So this is the hem of the jumper and we're going to finish the edge. It's up to you how you want to finish this. You can either use an overlocker or zigzag stitch at the edge and fold it over once and stitch in place or you can double fold the hem and sew along the entire edge using a zigzag stitch. I'm going to be doing this method because I prefer the finish. Now I've pinned the entire hem, I'm going to sew using a zigzag stitch close to the edge. This is what the final jumper looks like. I've sewn a really cute label at the back and the bottom is nicely hemmed. I've also hemmed the sleeves of the top. You can find this pattern on my website which is linked in the description box below, but let's see what it looks like on. Mm -hmm. 